it's late. How are you this evening? What's happening in your story tonight? Yes, that is the crickets you can hear in the background. And the hum of a passing car going home. Oh, what a day. How was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? What did you eat? Were you happy? Were you sad? What were the many moments of life that you experienced today? Some happy, some sad. Ah, oh, distant traffic. I just had a shower. And the burning in my oil, oil burner. Geranium. Yes, that is my stomach you can hear. I love this time of night. Yet somehow, if you're feeling a, a touch lonely, a slightly lonely, then at night somehow the shadows exaggerate your sense of loneliness. Does that happen to you? When you are alone with the shadows, do you feel sometimes a little bit more lonely? On my left, my salt lamp is on and it's emitting a beautiful light. Quite beautiful. I love to touch it because I love the texture of the salt lamp. It is just warm and there's something about that solid texture. I'm sorry, I've taken us off the topic. How are you? How are you feeling? I've had a, a interesting three days. You know that the boys have been in hospital with tonsillitis. Excuse me, I'm just moving my hair. When I wash my hair, it's... I have a lot of hair, so it's um, very heavy and sometimes it hurts my head slightly, the weight pulling down. The boys, they recovered. They took a little bit of time because they were, they were, oh, it was painful for them. They went back to school today for the first day. And they went okay. We've had family meetings over the weekend. We sat around the, the kitchen table. It's a beautiful, large, antique table with old church pews around it. And I, I just love it. But sometimes I think I should get rid of it because it was something I bought with my ex-husband and... And I feel that a lot of that time, it's right now to let go. So we had meetings around the beautiful antique kitchen table about, here's my stomach again, perhaps it's the time of night, or perhaps because I haven't eaten for several hours. I'm walking a lot at the moment, I love to walk, and when I walk, I think. I feel the sunshine upon my face and sometimes the wind, and I think about how lucky it is to be alive, to breathe. And then I also think about what to do. And I've been thinking about what to do, how to be right now. You see, I'm, I'm so lucky to have my four children so grateful. I'm so lucky. 
yet. I'm trying to write my book and I snatch an hour here and I snatch an hour there. And it's finished, but it's being adjusted at the moment because my editor is helping me make it a series. And so we're breaking it up and structuring it and she's being really helpful. But it's very hard to find the time and I search and snatch and grab and clutch at moments and then I get so tired and I'm 51 this year and yes I know it's at the end of the year, I know that. But there is a time where you just say, oh, oh my giddy aunt, this is now, this is time, it's time now, it's time now to do your thing, to be yourself. I have no time to be myself. I just have no time. I leave the house at times and put the children in before care and I rush off in my little car to personal train someone. And then I come back very tired. Sometimes I exercise with. I do love personal training, but it's so tiring in my book. It doesn't get finished. I love my videos. I love my audios. I have audios on iTunes, and I do love them. I do love creating them. There is a balance in life between who we are as individuals by ourselves. I do apologise for my stomach. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. You're just going to have to suffer the sounds of my intestines this evening. There is who we are as people. And then there is the labels that we've chosen to wear. The fact that I'm a single mum. And I do love it. I love it with all my heart. But then I am the role model to my children and I set the example for them. I show them. I show them what, what they can be in their life and who they can be. And how infinite, infinite possibility they have as people. And I'm trying to show them this infinite possibility while simultaneously drowning in fatigue and drowning in responsibility. At the moment, I am the only financial provider and I'm not asking for sympathy I don't need it but somehow I have to do that and still be myself and show them that the environment has worth and show them that the community has worth do you ever feel like that do you ever feel this incredible tearing between your individual self and your communal self, your family self, your parent, parental self. I am so happy. Yet parts of me are not quite complete. It's like a beautiful, magnificent, amazing, colourful jigsaw with a piece missing. And you look at that piece and you think, Oh, I think, I think I need to find that piece. And then I feel guilt because, oh God, I'm so lucky to have my children. But I know, I know it's time that I face my fear. I've created a video today, two videos about my direction. And I created a third one, an ASMR. It was a role play. It was particularly good, I felt. Yet my daughter was downstairs and she was scraping the chair and jumping up and down and then she would sing out and I feel really bad but I was quite frustrated. I love my daughter. I love my sons. I love my other daughter. It is time. It is time for me to stop personal training. It is time for me to stop a lot of my counselling. It is time for me to write my book. It is time for me to show my children 
It's a ridiculous the amount of noise in my stomach. It's like it's singing out. It's time, it's time. It's time for me to write my book and to produce my audios. My videos will always be free. But now I will be talking at times about my projects. I feel fear. I feel so much fear. Why do I feel so much fear? I guess it's because I've always been holding back. And I've said, I'm quite clever. I can write a book. I can present audios, but I don't. I look after men. I look after my children. I've helped a series of men find themselves. And I hide for myself. And I've got to stop doing that now. I must stop doing that. I really must stop doing that. The last three days, I've decided to stop doing that. When I went without sleep in the hospital, watching my beautiful boys sleep with their pillows, keeping them upright because of their operation, I looked at them and then I walked. I walked the hallways of the hospital and I talked to the nurses and I bought those charity chocolate frogs and I ate four at once. Too much food because I knew, I knew, I knew it was time. It is time, it is time to be myself. It is time to stop rescuing other people. It's time to do the things that I've been scared of doing. I watched the movie tonight, The Terms of Endearment, with Shirley MacLaine. It was so beautiful and there were so many, so many stories in there about real life. The cacophony of relationships between mother and child and boyfriend and husband and the labels and the, the player boyfriend and the love and the hate it was so beautiful. I related to it in so many levels. But I get lost, you see, at times. I get lost in the desire to lose myself in helping someone else. And it's time that I do that on a greater scale. I know, I know, I know. I have to devote my days to finishing the end of the book and starting on the next book. I want the next book to be about sleep. I want to really work on my other two channels, the yoga channel, which will be yoga and Pilates. And this channel will be ASMR only. Traditional ASMR, role-playing ASMR, sounds. I'm looking at my salt lamp. Oh, how are you, my friend? Do you ever feel fear? Real fear. Do you take those risks? Oh, gee, I loved my old yoga room. In my property where I live with my husband. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And I hung on way too long. And I'm hanging on too long now. I need to finish my book. I need to work on my three channels. I need to speak to you regularly. I need to know how you're feeling. I love those crickets. The night time is so special. It's almost as if in the night time we get to really know ourselves. And it's scary and wonderful and exciting. I must, I must work on my other two channels and I must release my audios on sleep my books and it's scary it's really scary I'm really scared and you know what are you serious was that my stomach are you serious or is that a joke that is the loudest stomach in the world it's screaming out it's time it's time to be yourself I am so scared I'm scared to really follow my dreams. 
I'm scared to stop personal training. There's no other way I'm going to do it. There's no other way with children. I want to go to school with them and not get up early to train someone. I want to meet them after school. It's time I get this book finished and the next and the next and the next. I care about you. I am so incredibly grateful that you listened to my channel. I am so incredibly grateful that you came on board when my life... <laughs> Is it going to keep interrupting? When my life was somewhat confused. I feel so, so less confused now. I love my life. I love the loneliness. I love the times where I discover something about myself. I love the times that my boys walk in when I'm doing an ASMR video and wreck it. I love the time when my daughter slid back and made a huge noise wrecking my video. I love the laughter. I love the tears. I love the movies. I love the walks. And I even love the loneliness. I am alone. And I am okay. I am alone and I am okay. Are you alone? You know what? You are okay. You are okay. You are so okay. Life is exciting. Come with me. Let's discover it. Let's discover it. I'm going to go to sleep now. Thank you so much for giving me this time. Oh, what a gift you give to me when you listen to my videos. What a gift, what a profound gift. You take care. You take care. Take care. When my hair is wet. Take care, sleep well, speak.